Hello Gemini. First of all, trust yourself, trust your intuition that you clicked on this video for a reason. It's what you're meant to be watching right now. You're in the right space and time. So welcome to your July last quarter moon reading. This is covering July 20th through the 23rd and it's a last quarter moon in Aries. So last quarter moons come in between a full moon and a new moon. So we're waning down and Aries energy is all about getting pepped up, inspired, fired up. So this is really about waning down on impulsivity and maybe over aggression and thinking things through. So who's ever coming out in this love reading for you, they're probably going to be a little bit more relaxed on their actions rather than kind of jumping the gun here, Gemini. So let's find out what's going on in your love energy, Gemini, for this last quarter moon. Two instant answers. And we have Nine of Swords, which is Gemini energy, Nine of Swords in reverse, Four of Swords in reverse, that's Libra energy. You could be dealing with either sign. Let's get one more for Gemini, who's coming out in their love energy. Who's coming out in Gemini's love energy for the last quarter moon in July? Who's coming out in Gemini's love energy? Thank you, okay. We have the moon in reverse, Cancer Pisces energy. And let's take a look at the bottom of the deck, which I take to mean the underlying theme, the bottom line. Five of the pentacles in reverse, Taurus energy. And then Cancer energy with the chariot in reverse, clarifying that. So Gemini, let's take a look. Let's dissect, shall we? So the nine of swords in reverse. So upright, the Nine of Swords, I do like to see this in reverse because it's getting out of a lowly energy. Nine of Swords is nightmare energy. It's thinking about the worst, kind of worrisome energy, very low vibrational. So in reverse, someone's trying to get out of this sense of doubt. And then we have the Four of Swords in reverse. So upright, the Four of Swords is just chilling. So in reverse, it's kind of more of an anxious scatterbrain energy. It seems like someone's having sleepless nights about you, Gemini. Someone can't get you out of their mind. They don't know what's going on with you because the moon upright is all about illumination, right? The moon illuminates, it reveals, it kind of shines a light on what needs to be shown a light on. So that's why the moon is all about secrets and reveals and exposures. So in reverse, there's something unknown. I, I feel like there's someone having sleepless nights about you because they don't know what you're up to. They're really curious about you. They don't know what you're up to. We have one major arcana there too with the moon. So I feel like a part of them is like a deep part of their soul is like big on knowing what's happening with you or wanting to know what's happening with you. The bottom of the deck energy is the five of pentacles in reverse. So the five of pentacles in reverse, I do like to see that too, because it's also getting out of a lowly vibration. It's poverty when it's upright. It's, it's getting the cold shoulder. So in reverse, it's trying to like pick yourself up out of a bad place. And I feel like this person was stuck for a while. The Chariot is the fastest card in tarot. It's Cancer energy. So in reverse, it's like, it's like trying to dig yourself out of a hole here is what I'm getting. I feel like this person dug a hole with you and now they're having a lot of worrisome nights. I mean, I feel like they, they kind of dug their own grave, Gemini. That's what I'm getting with this. Let us know what else is going on with Gemini as a person that can't stop thinking about them, has a lot of doubts about this connection. Religious factors, your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual paths. So this definitely makes me think that you guys are on different vibrational planes and that's probably why it didn't work out. Different, you know, religious is also about spirituality. So I feel like you guys were just not in the same spiritual place, not aligning. Let me get more for Gemini. And this last quarter moon, thank you. Okay, we have two that came out. We have chemistry and attraction. So you both, I feel like there was a deep connection, a deep attraction, a mutual attraction, but something happened. It seems like someone here was given the cold shoulder and Gemini, I gotta be honest, it seems like you gave this person the cold shoulder. But they're still thinking about you. I, I feel like they just kind of had doubts, though. Journey. I think this person really wants to make a journey with you. Like, they want to have a new journey, a new beginning. This makes me think about the fool. A new start, a rebirth, if you will. I get that with a butterfly. From a caterpillar to a butterfly. 
Let me get more for Gemini and this person. Because this person wants a restart, but it seems like, yeah, I feel like you gave them the cold shoulder. Dreamer, and they're still dreaming about what could be. Again, we have this butterfly energy, this rebirth energy. I feel like this person really wants a rebirth with you, Gemini. I don't know, maybe they, there was something with the moon too where like a bad light was shown on them and you were like, yeah, I'm good. I feel like there was definitely a reason for it, but this person still dreams about being with you. This has been a theme with a lot of these readings. Someone still, even after being given the cold shoulders, someone still wants to come back in. Give me more for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Sagittarius, this person could be a Sag, but Sag is the archer. They always got their eye on the prize. I feel like this person is like, has a Cupid's arrow on you, Gemini. A Cupid's arrow that will not let up. So let's go with the Astro Dice. Let's see what's coming for you with the Astro Dice, with you and this person, Gemini. Look, so we have Venus energy. Venus rules over Libra and Taurus. In Cancer, in the first house, which is Aries energy, which kind of goes with this moon. So this is like very beautiful feminine energy and Cancer's the mother. So there's a very feminine energy here. I feel like the moon is definitely ruling over this. In the first house, which again is all about just getting started. Aries energy is definitely about getting things underway, starting to pop up, pop off. I feel like this person really wants to get this connection going with you in a way again it's like they're done dreaming about it like bring it to reality all right bring out the charms that gemini needs to see they're looking at things from a different perspective with the giraffe here the giraffes have very high necks so they literally see from a higher perspective and with this shoe i feel like they're ready to step out and step on like let's get it started gemini i feel like this person is sick of waiting and just ready to get it started. It's like they're sick of dreaming. Let's go on this journey together. So I hope this resonated with you. Thank you so much for watching this and I will catch you in the next moon phase reading in just a couple days.